I'm just going to give a short lesson on a very simple color wheel. Um, how to create your secondary colors using your primary colors and making pretty art in the meantime. So I hope this water is clean enough. I'm using a big brush, this being big compared to my watercolor set. I highly recommend using a brush this size. And what you need to do is you need to make a very wet circle or donut sort of on your paper. And you're gonna look at your circle and see a triangle. Triangle being like from here to here to over here and here. So in your three points of your triangle, on the top, you're going to put red. Right here. And you're going to get a lot, like a, a puddle of red there. And then you're going to get take yellow and you're gonna make a puddle of yellow over where we saw the triangle, the imaginary triangle before. And because yellow was a lighter color, we'll probably have to use more of it than I've put here. And then we'll put blue Make a puddle of blue right here. Okay. <laughs> so, do you see I have an imaginary triangle right here of the primary colors, red, yellow, and blue. And now, I don't think I've ever made one this big before, so I'm, um, see a little bit of orange in there because red and yellow create orange. I know that I need a lot more yellow here. And I'm now I'm going to connect these two here and if you can subtly see what what are yellow and blue creating. You can see a subtle green here. And now I'll do, what do you think the red and blue will, will create? See the purple? Okay, these can be a lot more impressive, much more magnificent. Let me try a smaller one just on this piece of paper right here, a scratch piece of paper circle. It just makes much more of an impression, those, wa those liquid watercolors. But you can see here, I'm, I'm, it's, I'm going to have much more success. See how the red is running? Already it's just, it's, it's, the, it's the wet, this is the wet on wet method. It's following the wet and it's coming up to meet the yellow. Okay, now I'm going to make a big pool of, of blue. So I have my imaginary triangle here, red, yellow, blue. And because it's a smaller circle, it's naturally just coming to meet each other. And, and this is what, we do do them smaller in the classroom. I just thought I would try with a larger version. The paper might make a difference here too. I don't have any watercolor paper. This is drawing paper and this is mixed media paper. So I tell you, this paper is the, the Canson XL mixed media paper is just the best all around paper. Just gonna encourage this to bleed a little bit Wash my brush in between this a lot, so it's already really bumpy. So it's it's traveling further than it should, but you get the idea. I'm gonna add a little bit more yellow here to see if I can get it 
to make a more proper green here. They're so pretty anyway. I mean, you can turn this into art. I mean, you could make greeting cards with the color wheels on them. You could turn them into wreaths for the holidays. So see how the red and blue have make up subtle purple here. I see orange between from the red and the yellow. And I am starting to see some green over here. See that? So if you have, let's say a nine by 12 size, it's usually the standard size for art paper is in a nine by 12 size you could fold it into four parts and um, I'm just trying to think I'm going to use I'm just going to use this piece of paper because it's right here you could fold it into four parts so if we fold it in half and then we fold it in half again there's four sections and you could make four mini color wheels here. And then you could cut them out and send them as art to your family and friends. So that's the color wheel.